the first pitch from Diefenbach is bunted back to the mound. She picks it up, throws to first, and it is low and gets past the second baseman, Carl Howard, who was covering. That'll probably be a base hit for Koenigs. <laughs> Deals. And there's a half swing, and it gets under Diefenbach's glove to Phillips. She fires to first in time. 6-3 on the putout, moving to second base is Koenigs. Ball and one strike. This one is high, and it gets away from Spierstra and taking third on the play. On the wild pitch is Koenigs. There's the 2-2 pitch. Half swing, strike three is called. Here's the 0-1 pitch to Carmen Timeka. Strike two is called. And the throw to third gets past the third baseman, and the run will come home and score. That'll be an error on the catcher, I believe. Throw that went over Nadine, uh, Nadine Bites' head. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The inning is over. Second strike out of the inning. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Slow tapper up the third baseline. It's a fair ball, and it is off the glove of the third baseman, Baumgarten. She has no play. Here it comes. There's a line shot, and it is caught by the second baseman. She's going to go to second base, but it's not in time. Good play by Vanessa Hines to catch that liner on the fly. Here's the pitch. There's a ground ball to the right side. Second baseman Vanessa Hines shovels it to first in time for the out. The throw is not in time to get Peeler at home as she scores. And the game is tied at one. Fly ball, short left field. That ball is going to hang up long enough for Stepniak to run in and make the catch and end the inning. And Louisa Hoffman deals. Fly ball, right field down the line. That ball is going to land, and it's fair. A base hit for Phillips. She's rounding first, heading for second, rounding second, heading for third. She is going to make it, standing with a triple. And the left-hander Hoffman deals. Ball four is outside. That will force home a run. It is now two to one. Disciples on the bases loaded walk. There's a one hopper to the shortstop. She kicks off her glove and goes to short right. A run will score. Base hit, and it's 3 to 1. 3 0 pitch coming from Hoffman is high for ball four. And that forces home another run it's to Diefenbach. Line shot, center field, base hit. One run will score. The throw comes into the infield. And it is 5 to 1 on the RBI single by Elisa Diefenbach. That was. This is the ninth person to bat in the inning. Fly ball, left center field. That ball is going to be caught in left center by Yulia Koenigs. Tagging up and scoring is Ankatrin Stepniak. And it is 6-1 to one har on the sacrifice fly by Michaela Kubikova. Andy Phillips. And she hits the fly ball to short left field. It's going to drop for a base hit. Nuth rounding third. She's going to come to the plate. The throw won't be in time. It's an RBI single. And the Disciples lead 7-1. to one. Starts the rock back and the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Swing and a miss for strike three. The ball is dropped by Peeler. She throws to first. In time, the inning is over. So Diefenbach strikes out the side, stranding Yulia Koenigs. There's a line drive caught by the first baseman, Leone Vinter. Nice play. She was playing in and snagged that liner. Take a look at that one on the replay. Yeah, Vinter just reached a little bit to her right pitch. Fly ball deep left field. That is going to be over the head of Hesslinger in left field. It goes all the way to the fence. Timeka will score. And that's going to be a triple for Camilla English. And it makes it 7-2. to 1-2 one -two pitch. Ground ball to the second baseman. Carl Howard throws to first in time for the out. But the run will score. And it is 7-3. to three. So There's the 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss at a high rise ball, and that ends the inning. And she swings and hits a ground to the right side. Covering is Carol Howard, but it's going to be too late. A base hit. 0-2. Strike three called on the outside corner. Big pitch. And ball three, and this one gets away. And Koenig scores, and the other runners move up. It is now 7-4. to four. That might be a pass ball. The 2-2. Two -two. There's a liner to short. It is caught by Phillips, and she'll have no other play. A good play. And Sabine Salon with one strike. The pitch swung on and squirted and caught on the fly by Nadine Bight at third. And that will end the inning. A good play by Nadine Bight to save a base hit. Swing and a miss at a high fastball for strike three. Wolfman has struck out for the third time. 
Diefenbach deals to Koenigs. Swing and a miss, strike three. And the inning is over, a 1-2-3 inning. There's a ground ball slowly hit, and right underneath the glove of Katrin Baumgarten into left field. That'll be an E5, I'm sure. And this ball bunted, dead and perfectly in front of the plate. Minter picks it up and throws to first. It gets off the glove of the second baseman, and taking third base on the play is Peeler. Here it comes. There's a swing and a line drive to center field. There's a base hit. The throw to second base is not going to be in time. Coming home to score is Peeler, and it is eight to four. They almost had a chance at the force from center field, but the sixth. And there's a little tapper back to the mound. Coopers is going to go to third. They get the out there and nothing else. And they're going to intentionally walk Mandy Phillips. That's what it is. So Mandy Phillips draws the intentional base on balls. And the batter is going to be Nadine Lutika. Pinch hitting for Nadine at bite. Annika Nutt on third. Julia Hasslinger on second. And Mandy Phillips on first. Two outs. A run is in. There's the 2-2 pitch from Steffi Cooper's to Lutica. And there's a line drive to right center field. That's going to be a base hit. And it goes all the way to the gap. One run is going to come around and score. Two runs have scored. Three runs are going to score. It's a three-run double for Nadine Lutica. Pinch hitting. And Har leads 11-4. to four. Ah, the seven-run rule has been invoked. And that won the game for the Disciples. So it's a walk-off in the bottom of the sixth inning. When the Disciples cleared the bases, that gave them a seven-run lead. And the game is over. Har wins. It's their first win of the year. A walk-off bases-clearing double for Nadine Lutica. Pinch hit. And the Karlsruhe Cougars and Har Disciples have split the doubleheader. Karlsruhe winning game one, 5-3. And Har winning game two by a score of 11-4 via the seven-run rule in the bottom of the sixth inning.